The first step in analyzing conversion trends and finding potential optimization scenarios is the high-level overview. So for this, I extracted uh, data from a sample online booking website to uh, my uh, BI analysis tool and created a sample high-level overview conversion trends dashboard. From this dashboard, we can see various visualization of the data around the different key dimensions. The dimensions, as explained in the uh, blog post, the high-level dimensions are above uh, your source medium, uh, so your traffic type, the country, uh, language, device category, landing pages, and user type. So the key with the identifying high-level patterns is to be able to slice and dice and turn around the data from different angles for these key, uh, key dimensions. So what we are going to do here is we are going to try to do this on this sample data. So let's look at this chart where we are trying to identify uh, the main trends and I'll switch to totals and I want to see my basic, let's say, user trend. So here I can see my user trend for all data and I can see that after December periods, the, the low period for uh, travel booking, uh, the, book, uh, the, the visitors started to pick up. So what I'm interested here now is also to want to see the conversion. So I'll switch the, the metric to conversion rate and I can check and see what are the conversion trends. What I see from this visualization is that the conversion drop occurred in January and February period and then the conversion picked up again and then we had another drop in the July. So for this uh, test case, I'll try to see from this high-level visualization, I'll try to see if I, if I can get some actionable insights or valuable insights uh, about the conversion drop that ha happened in this January and February period. What I'm going to see, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try to see the conversion trend by my key uh, segments. And for this, I'll use geography first, so I want to see by my high-level country overview. What I can see now here is the conversion trend for different markets. And what can I see from this visualization right away is that we have the biggest drop in this aforementioned January and February period in our UK market. So I'm going to highlight the market and I'm going to try to see what happened here. Uh, usually uh, such big conversion drops happens because uh, the most obvious re reason usually is because the traffic quality dropped. So I'm going to first try to check this. So I'm going to go back to sessions and try to see what happened with my session. So I see growth on this market, but now I'm trying to see it by traffic structure. So what I see basically from this visualization then in January, February period, all traffic start to pick up and I'm going to select my key, my core free traffic sources, so which are Google organic, direct and uh, paid Google traffic. And what I see is that also in this period, the paid traffic, the Google CPC started to pick up. So this is one, uh, one of my suspicions to see if this Google paid traffic because we got uh, unqualified traffic or we got uh, traffic that's uh, higher up in the funnel uh, if this is the one reason that affected my conversion. So I'm going to go back to my conversion rate by traffic source and I'm going to try to see this but what I see here basically is that also for my organic or uh, let's say for my direct the same traffic conversion pattern occurred. So basically with the Google uh, paid traffic the drop was actually less significant or similar than the ones in other categories. So uh, the traffic structure is not the reason that we see this uh, conversion drop. So because of that, what we're going to do, we're going to try to change and look the data from the different angle and we're going to see if it's something connected to the uh, device. So if we had some issues on the mobile or is the conversion drop device related. What we can see again is that the desktop conversion drop is as big or even bigger as it's for the other, for example, for the mobile segment. So again, this conversion drop is not device category uh, cost. 
Um, the next thing that I can look again here is my other segment is by my user type. So do I see different drops on different trends by the new users or returning visitors? And I can basically see again that conversion is dropping across all segments. So this is my first insight is that it's something that happens across all segments which makes me suspect that it's something that has to happen with our offers or our search patterns. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to try to see and look in my booking funnel if I can identify in my booking funnel what happened in this period on my UK market. So I'm going to change to another more detailed uh, report, basically my booking funnel report. I'm going to open my booking funnel visualization and what I have here is basically step-by-step -step funnel conversion completion drops. What I can see above is the step one, the search conversion. And what I can see in January and February, basically that the conversion in this first step didn't drop. Uh, so how we can interpret this data? Basically, we can say that because of the what we saw previously, that the traffic structure didn't change. Uh, also, we got enough quality traffic into the search and basically the conversion drop ha happened after. So after the first step in our funnel, basically after people saw the search. And we can see here, for example, in the yellow chart for the step uh, and the green, green chart and the light pink chart, that the conversion drop, uh, conversion drop started to happen in this, in this third and fourth and fifth step of the funnel. Basically, this means that something happened with our product search display. Uh, so is it the product, the price, or some search trends that we need to investigate to identify what basically happens there uh, in that period. And this is something that we will do in our more micro analysis where we will drip da drill down into the search performance report and the product performance reports.